Welcome to section 2 of the Real World Node.js projects. In section 2 we will be developing a full stack messaging app using socket.io. In this section we are going to take a look at a project overview and how the project will work, the basics of WebSockets, getting familiar with socket.io, a real-time WebSocket framework, creating a user interface that interacts with our WebSocket connection through events, creating a backend that handles our WebSocket events. What are WebSockets and introduction to the project? So let's talk about what WebSockets are. WebSockets are a communication protocol similar to HTTP. So you might be familiar with HTTP and HTTP are used in HTTP get, post, put, and delete requests. We have used these in the past and it's just a way to communicate between a client which might be a browser and a server which is has your URLs. So WebSockets are commonly used for real-time communication. Essentially, WebSockets are a connection between a server and clients that does not close immediately after sending or receiving a message. This is unlike HTTP, wherein the connection between the server and the client closes. WebSockets versus HTTP. So on the left-hand corner, you'll see that communication via HTTP is sort of like sending letters back and forth. It is lightweight for sending messages, but relies on party A to send the message and party B to receive and read the message, whereas all other parties do not know of the message. On the right hand corner, you'll see that communication via WebSockets is sort of like a group phone call or a group chat. If party A can send a message and all other parties will be able to receive it and be able to read it instantaneously. So as where in HTTP, it's really only based on two parties, where party A sends a message and party B has to receive the message and read it, and party C, D, etc. will not know of the message. With WebSockets, it's ongoing communication, so all parties, party A, B, C, D, etc. will know of the messages that are sent. So this makes it particularly useful for real-time messaging. You can think of something like Facebook chat or any group texting things like that. So in this project we will be creating a messaging application wherein multiple users can send messages to each other. So if you look here this is essentially what the project is. You can log in as Sam and Sam might write a message and it will appear immediately. Um, if you log in as Joe, he, Joe can send a message and Sam will be able to read it as well and send a new message. How does this project work? On the client side, we will be able to emit events, such as a chat message event, where a user has hit send on the message input field. For instance, if we were to log into this website, which had a WebSocket chat, we might type in hello world and hit send, and that would emit a chat message event. On the server side, we will handle the event of chat message by emitting it to all other users. And then finally, all of the users will be able to display that new message. So if you look at the diagram, you have client A sends a message, which we just discussed. So it says whenever the client hits the submit button, the WebSocket will be able to emit a chat message with the message information. And that will go on to the next step, wherein the server will receive the message and emit it to all of the other clients. So when the server receives the chat message, it will emit the same message to all of the other clients. And finally, all the clients receive the emitted message and display it onto their screen.